Hey mom, guess what? I just got my acceptance letter from Harvard. I aced all the tests and interviews. And now I'm going to be a freshman there this fall. Can you believe it? I'm going to study at the best college in the world. Wow, that's incredible, Chloe. You really made it? Did you pass everything with flying colors? I'm so proud of you, honey. This is such wonderful news. You're going to be a Harvard student and someday a Harvard graduate. That's amazing. You worked so hard for this and you deserve it. Well, of course I made it. I'm a genius, just like dad. He taught me everything, you know? Getting into Harvard is easy for someone without DNA. That's true. You've always been a smart cookie, just like your dad. Ever since you were a baby, you had a curious mind and a sharp wit. Well, this calls for a celebration. What do you want for dinner tonight? I'll cook anything you want. Just name it. Oh, don't bother with that. Dad is taking me out to a fancy restaurant tonight. He said he had a surprise for me. Oh, he is? Just the two of you? And what about me? Don't I get to join the party? Sorry, Mom, but you can't come. You wouldn't fit in. You're just a high school dropout, remember? What? Yeah, you heard me. Dad is a brilliant scientist, working at the top research lab in the country. And I'm his prodigy, following his footsteps to Harvard. And you? You're nothing. You never went to college. You never had a career. And you never achieved anything. How can you expect to celebrate with us? You don't belong there. Chloe, what are you saying? Have you lost your mind? I know you're excited about getting into Harvard, but you're not even a student there yet. You still have to graduate from high school, which you haven't done. So technically, you're not even a high school graduate, let alone a college one. Don't talk to me like you know anything, Mom. You're clueless. You have no idea what it takes to get into Harvard or to succeed in life. You're the biggest loser in this family. And you have no right to lecture me. Now, I'm above you. How dare you call me a loser? Who do you think you are, Chloe? Do you have any idea how much I've sacrificed for you? Who do you think paid for your tuition, your books, your tutors, your extracurriculars? Who do you think supported you emotionally, mentally, physically, through all the stress and pressure? Who do you think loves you unconditionally, no matter what? Oh, please. Don't act like you did anything for me. It was all dad. He's the one who helped me with my homework, my projects, my applications. He's the one who gave me advice, encouragement, inspiration. He's the one who has a prestigious degree, a respected job, and a brilliant mind. He's the one I look up to. You don't think I did anything for you? You don't think I helped you at all? You're so ungrateful, Chloe. I'm the one who worked hard to provide for this family, to pay the bills, to buy the groceries, to keep this house running. Do you have any idea how much money it costs to live here? Do you have any idea how much I've given up for you? Oh, boo-hoo. Is that supposed to impress me? You think working a dead-end job and paying the bills is something to be proud of? You think that makes you worthy of dining with dad and me? You're pathetic, mom. I can't believe dad even married you. You're a high school dropout with nothing to show for it. He must have felt sorry for you. And maybe that's why you're paying 2,000 a month, haha. <laughs> what? You heard me, mom. You're nothing but a burden to the both of us. You're just a high school dropout who works a minimum wage job. You don't contribute anything to this family. You don't understand anything about our intelligence, our ambition, our success. You're just a drag on our lives. So you might as well pack your bags and leave. Chloe, how can you say that to me? I'm your own mother. Have you always felt this way about me? It's not a matter of feeling, Mom. It's a matter of fact. You're the dumbest person in this house. And you have no achievements to be proud of. You're a failure, Mom. And I have something to tell you. What is it? I want you out of this house, Mom. Out of my life. I'm going to be a Harvard student soon and I can't have you around to embarrass me. You're a disgrace to me and to dad. So while we're out to celebrate my acceptance, you can stay here and pack your stuff. What, you want me to leave? This is my house too, Chloe. What are you talking about? Dad and I already talked about this. 
He said that when I start at Harvard, things are going to get harder for me. I'll have to learn a lot of new things and I'll need a quiet and supportive environment to study. But with you here, that's impossible. You're too loud, too ignorant, too annoying. You'll only distract me and ruin my chances. That's why you have to go, Mom. Chloe, this is insane. How can you be so cruel to me? How can you want me to leave my own home? It's not cruel, Mom. It's necessary. And Dad agrees with me. He said that he's willing to divorce you for my sake. My future. He said what? He said that he loves me more than anything and wants me to succeed. He said that you're holding us back and that you're not good enough for us. He said that you're stupid, Mom, and he doesn't want me to become like you. He said that? He called me stupid? He did, and he's right. You're the stupidest person I know, Mom, and I don't want you in this house anymore. You don't deserve to be here. You don't deserve to be my mother and my dad's wife. You're a loser, Mom, and you need to get out of our lives. How can you be so heartless, Chloe? How can you say such horrible things to me? I don't need a heart. I need a brain. And you don't have one. You're useless to me. And dad. We don't need you. We don't want you. We don't love you. So just go away and don't come back. Fine, Chloe. If that's what you want, then I'll go. I'll leave this house. I'll leave you and your father alone. I'll sign the divorce papers and I'll never bother you again. But don't you ever forget, Chloe. You're my daughter, and I love you, even if you don't love me. I appreciate you signing the divorce papers and leaving them here for me yesterday. I just submitted them to the city office. Well, that's it then. We're officially divorced. That's right. And we're done with you. I'll take care of Chloe from now on, so you don't have to worry about that. How are you going to do that? You've always made me do everything around the house and raise her while you were away. And without me, who's going to pay for the mortgage and the groceries? How are you going to survive, huh? Don't you know the truth? I know you have a nice job at the university lab doing your research, but you don't make much money, do you? And you spend most of it on your experiments, right? That's why you relied on me to support the family. And if it wasn't for all the extra hours I worked, I wouldn't have any savings to live on now. Well, you don't have to worry about that because I have a big change coming. I just got an offer from a company overseas that wants to hire me. What? You got an offer from an overseas company? That's amazing, isn't it? It sure is. They're offering me $500,000 a year to do my research for them. And I could get up to $1 million in bonuses depending on the results. You're going to make that kind of money? That's what you get from an overseas company that values an American researcher with my background. Unlike the universities and companies here, they're willing to pay top dollar for my expertise. I'll be able to do what I love and make a fortune at the same time. I see. So that's why you wanted a divorce. Because you got this great opportunity and you didn't need me anymore. I was only good for paying the bills that you couldn't afford. That's right. I'm a world-class researcher now. And I can't be married to a high school dropout like you. You'd only ruin my reputation. When I go overseas, I'll be mingling with the elite, and I can't have you tagging along. So you think I'm a disgrace, huh? You don't even thank me for everything I've done for you and Chloe. You just look down on me for not having a degree. I can't believe my luck. Getting hired by such a prestigious company. And not just any company, but Greenberg. The leader in technology. Wait, Greenberg? Yeah. Even a high school dropout like you must have heard of them. They're the best in the business. Thanks to my research, their stock prices will soar. You should buy some shares while you can, so you'll have some money in the future. Hold on a minute. Doesn't this sound fishy to you? I've read that they stopped working with researchers from your department. What? They did? I've always followed the news about your job and the companies in your field. And I saw something on a foreign website that caught my attention. It said that Greenberg is cutting down on the research that you specialize in. Don't be ridiculous. You're just a high school dropout who never went to college. You can't possibly understand the news well enough to get that from it. You're just confused. Why would Greenberg hire me if they don't care about my research? Don't be so naive, Christopher. You can use translation apps to read any website you want these days. You should do some more research on Greenberg and take a closer look at the offer they sent you. Enough. I'm not going to listen to you, my ex-wife, 
talk about my work like you know anything about it. You're just jealous of me and trying to make me turn down the offer. But you can't stop me. I'm going to accept it and work for a company that appreciates me and pays me well. I don't need you anymore, Marina. Is that what you think? I'm not saying this because of the money. Then stop saying anything at all. I'm sick of hearing your nonsense. I'm going to take this opportunity and work for a company that values me and my work. I don't want your help, Marina. Fine, Christopher. Go ahead and do what you want. But don't come back to me when you realize you made a mistake. Don't expect me to take you back or feel sorry for you. You think I'll ever regret this? You think I'll ever want you back? You're a useless woman who has nothing to offer me or my family. You're the one who should regret wasting your life and not getting an education. Stay away from us, Marina. You know what? I've changed my mind. I want you to start sending me money again and pay for my Harvard tuition. And I want it by the end of this week. Transfer at least 10,000 bucks to dad's account. Got it? Excuse me? What about that dad of yours that you're always boasting about? Can't he afford to keep you in school? He could, but he's having some cash flow issues right now. He signed this contract with a new company and he didn't realize they only pay him once a year. He's supposed to get half a million by the end of the year. But until then, he's broke. What? Once a year? Are you kidding me? That's how they do things overseas, I guess. But Harvard doesn't care about that. They want me to pay up by the end of this month. So you're going to have to cover me for now. Don't worry. We'll pay you back as soon as dad gets his big paycheck. This is unbelievable. I thought Christopher had some brains, but I guess he fell for a scam. He hasn't told you the truth about his job, has he? The truth? What truth? The truth is, you and your dad are both suckers. You think you're so smart, but you're really just clowns. What? How dare you call us clowns? And what do you mean he fell for a scam? What scam? The scam is, your dad is not working for any overseas company. He's not getting any $500,000. He's getting nothing. Zero. Zilch. What? He's been duped, Chloe. He's been lied to and he's lying to you too. And by the way, I'm not going to pay for your education. You can forget about that. Go talk to your dad and find out what's really going on. And pay your own damn bills. Hold on. What are you saying? Dad is not working overseas? That's impossible. He wouldn't turn down an offer like that. He said it was a great opportunity. There was no offer, Chloe. No opportunity, no job, nothing. It was all a joke. What? What do you mean, a joke? I mean, your dad got an email from some fake company and he thought it was real. He thought they wanted him, but they didn't. They wanted someone else, someone better and smarter. They sent the email to the wrong person, to your dad, by mistake. What? I know all this because I was married to your dad for years. I know his field and I also know his colleagues. I know more than you think. Do you want proof? Your dad is still in the US, right? He should have moved to France by now if he really got the job. Well, yeah, he's still in the US. But he said he's busy preparing to leave. He even packed some of his stuff the other day. So wait a minute, are you saying that dad is unemployed? Well, you'll have to ask your dad about that if you want an answer. Now, since you know more about the truth, I'll be going. Good luck getting the money you need to stay in school. You've really done it now. Telling Chloe the truth about me? Why have you done this to me? You're the one to blame for continuing to live a lie like that in front of her. Anyway, what are you going to do about paying for Chloe to stay in school? I hear that she needs $10,000 for this month. But I doubt you have that kind of money just lying around, right? I received pretty much everything that was in our savings in the divorce. So there's got to be nothing in there. Yeah, that's right. I don't have anything in savings at the moment. And that's why things regarding her schooling, living costs, are getting pretty tight. Especially since I was fired from a job. You were fired from your lab? When I got that email with the offer regarding the job overseas, I jumped on it and turned in my letter of resignation. But right after doing that, I realized that the offer wasn't meant for me. I tried to get the university to throw that resignation letter away, but it was too late for me, and they said no. I learned that the university had been planning to get rid of me for a while now, and that was the perfect chance for them. 
Oh my, that's a bummer for you then. So then you really are unemployed right now. Even if I don't have a job right now, I'm a researcher. I'm sure that someday soon the research that I do will change this world in some way for the better. But it's screwed up that the university and this world don't see how important my work is yet. That's right. You sacrifice more than anyone for your research and everything it relates to. So I'll be waiting for the day that all you've sacrificed is put to good use and changes this world. But you ended up throwing out the one person that funded your research in any way. And I wonder if anyone else will be willing to listen to what you have to say. <laughs> huh? Your research is important. But you also have to find someone willing to actually fund it for you. But for some reason, you've only ever cared about your research and not about those who put their money into it for you. Always talking about those who don't support you as idiots and that those who do not understand the importance of your work as inferior. If you keep thinking about those who fund you or consider funding you like that, then you're going to get nowhere with your research. How does someone like you know anything about the type of work I do? I know everything about the work you do, Christopher. I'm the one who translated a lot of your papers for those overseas to understand, as well as have held relations with different institutions that have been wanting to fund you. As you sat there doing your research all day and night, you made me handle all the public relations and things regarding business. I even did all of that for you while you continued to call me an idiot for never going past further than high school. Well, you've done it now, Christopher. Well, that's... Well, don't worry, because I'm thankful for what you did. Because all of that work you forced me into, I was able to work from home all the time. I was able to start working for other researchers as well, doing their translations and things like that, and have made off with this work rather well. Right now, I'm making somewhere around 80000 a year with this kind of work, and I don't even have to leave the house. What? You're making that much a year from home? There are a lot of researchers and companies asking for my skills, so I don't have to worry about money. And when I was still married to you, most of what I earned went to supporting you and Chloe. But now, without both of you in my life, I'm able to save up lots of money. What? I was a bit worried about my life after a divorce from you. But with a yearly income of around 80000 I'm able to make ends meet. You're lying, right? All I am is unemployed now. The man who graduated with a master's and is a researcher is currently without any work. Now, why should a high school graduate like you be able to make that much? That's because I worked my hardest to help support your research and the family. I literally sacrificed years of my life working my job, doing all the chores, and raising Chloe just so that you could focus on your research. I even studied financing in my free time to learn how to manage money better. And because of that, I'm able to do what I do now with a steady income and no worries. Hey Marina, what do you think about the two of us getting back together again? Come back here and start funding my research again. Who the hell would want to fund your research, you dunce? If you're as intelligent as you always bragged about, then you can make up a way to bring in money and fund yourself. I never knew that you brought in that much money every year. Mom, please, can you please start paying for me to stay in school? I'm sorry, but someone who never went anywhere after high school doesn't know how to send you money to your dad for him to pay for your schooling. And you shouldn't have to ask for my money anyway, considering I'm so stupid. Please don't say things like that now. Just help me! If I don't pay for my semester soon, I'm not going to be able to stay in school. And we'll have to drop out. And then all that work I put into passing those exams will have been for nothing. I won't even be able to get into college anymore, Mom. Well, that just means you'll turn out like me as a high school graduate. Welcome to the life of stupid people that never chose to move on to a higher education, Chloe. I want to apologize for everything I ever said to you before. Mom, I'm so sorry for treating you like an idiot for so long. It's all been because of the money you brought into the family. That Dad and I were able to study what we wanted and go where we pleased, so thank you. I want to keep saying sorry for what I've done, so please forgive me in return. Why should I forgive you? Do you realize just how much you hurt me after what you did to me recently? You were able to get accepted into Harvard after all, so you should be able to understand that, right? But mom... Stop asking me for help and do what you can on your own. 
You also have your father, who you brag so much about, there with you. I'm sure two extremely intelligent people like you can make something happen. Now you both have a good one. As soon as I found out, I cut off all contact with them. I changed my phone number and my email address. I never wanted to hear from them again, and I didn't. But I heard some rumors. Chloe couldn't pay for her first semester at Harvard. She had to drop out, crying like a baby. Now she's working multiple dead-end jobs trying to save up her community college. And Christopher? He got a job as an office drone. He spends his days doing mindless work that has nothing to do with his master's degree. He still acts like he's better than everyone else, because he used to be a researcher. But his boss doesn't let him get away with it. He humiliates him in front of his coworkers. And their home life? They can barely afford to eat. They live on gas station food, hoping for a better future. But that's not my problem. I'm living the good life. I found a nice apartment where I can work from home and enjoy my money. I don't have to share it with anyone. I love what I do, and I'm grateful for what they did to me. They did me a favor.